so we're going to continue with the what I would buy on a budget and if you're starting off the game what are the cards you should look out for so when you start the game obviously untamed and chaos legion commons and rares these are all the cards that will be in your starter deck and will be available to you so we're not going to buy any of these right now later on as you grow your deck you'll buy these cards and then maybe even level them up but obviously first level up your summoners and There'll be more guides on that in the future but for now we're just going to look at what cards you should be buying to or what our cards i would buy maybe i'll pick five to six i try to stick under 30 dollars a piece and then it's how you build and develop your deck so as always we're not going to we're skipping alpha beta promos because these are all the old cards that will go into the wild format and if you're just starting now it's better to just build your deck for modern because it's just a lot cheaper that way. So we'll look at the reward and dice cards to begin with that are rares and commons. So these will be the other cards that you'll use to fill out your deck. Okay, so to start with, oh shit. Okay, so Silver Shield Assassin, that gets taken out. Archers gets taken out. The Werewolf gets taken out. The Baby Unicorn gets taken out because those are all the old promo cards. So then we're looking at cards like a Pelicor Conjure, Sheriff, Laura Shine, Temple Priest, Chain Spinner, Warrior of Peace. So, I think. So, this card is really good, but I don't think you have to worry about it because, one, I think you'll get it quite easily. It's also very, very cheap, but you'll get it quite easily when you just play the game and get it in a reward chest. It's very, very common. Uh, the other thing is you want to try and get it to level 4 because that way it gives you magic reflect and then it's a great position to anti-magic card. Uh, the Crystal Smith is also a really cool card because it pairs really well with a General Sloan giving you extra archer damage plus giving your tank heal so I think you have to pick one of these up. Uh, Chain Spinner, I don't really like because it's just got too little HP, too little, like it's it's got too little speed and then too little defense to be a position one. Warrior of Peace doesn't do any damage and he's a decent wall but there's much better walls. So I'm going to skip him. Temple Priest, I think there's a potential because magic damage is really cool and... I actually typically avoid archer life and I rather play magic life in general. I find it easier to win with. But I'm going to skip Temple Priest for now. We might come back to it. Oops. Sorry, that was from the Earth Guide. So we got the Crystal Smith in. We're skipping Temple Priest. Uh, Silver Shield Sheriff. Uh, I think you have to pick one up. He's really strong, he's got 3 HP, three damage, 8 HP, so he's a really good, like, 99 mana game, and he pairs really well with General Sloan, so you need to pick one up. Laura Shine, this is where it gets a bit complicated, because she's way, way, way more expensive than a General Sloan, but she's way better than a Mother Kala, giving Divine Shield to your whole team. So I'm going to put her in, but I... Do understand that spending $14 or nearly half of our budget on a card might be a bit crazy, so I probably will take her out. But I'm just going to put it in because I think there is some argument to why you would pick her up in the beginning. Uh, moving on to the epic cards, I'm now going to include Untamed and Chaos Legion because you wouldn't get these any other way. So you have to buy them and add them into your deck. Or obviously rent them out. So when we look at the Chaos Legion ones, obviously a Prismologist works really well with General Sloan, giving it that blast. The other way to go, obviously, okay, Divine Sorceress is an old one, so you wouldn't play Divine Sorceress. Uh, the Mistress at 3.6. Okay. So Jin. Renova is 
a more expensive but slightly better mistress. So it costs one mana more, but the ability is typically better. So I, you definitely need to pick up a Jin, just because it really does help play in the magic route. A Temporal Master, I don't like, what's this ability called, Recharge? I think I don't, I hate Recharge, to be honest. As well as the fact that his HP is too little, like a Dax Paragon is way, way, way better. So for that reason, I'm picking up a Dax to use as a position two, which means, um, yeah, we've spent way too much already. I have to take out the Laura Shrine. So picking up Dax, because he's a really strong position two, you can also pair it really well with magic. If you really want to commit full magic, then you would drop cash. So this is kind of where you would split your votes on how you build your deck. Uh, I would say skip these untamed cards like the Thunderbird, the Hero of the Beyond, and the Light Elemental. They're a bit too pricey. But if you want to go Magic Life, which is what I play, you typically play Mother Kala, and then you'd put in a tank, and then you put in a Jin Renova and a Mistress, and maybe a Dax Paragon, and you'd blast your way with Magic and high HP to win. So that's how I would build it. But there is an argument where if you like General Sloan and Plain Archers, you'd pick up an Evangelist and a Prismologist instead of picking up the Jin Renova and the Mistress. But because I prefer this playstyle, I'm going to go with the playstyle I want. And we've only spent $9, so we could even come back and pick them up so you can play both. It's actually not too bad. Okay, looking at the legendaries. Obviously, we're not going to pick anything up that's too expensive because it's just out of our budget, but I will give you some shout outs. So, Carlos Kralis is a really cool card when you get it to level 2 because it gets healing and then it does the same thing where it's got magic damage as well as melee damage. So, he's a really good position 1, also with immunity and flying. So, he's perfect for those earthquake and poison games uh, unfortunately there's a new card that came out which is uriel the purifier he does have recharge which makes him bad but he's very similar in terms of his hp and armor he doesn't have dual attack but he's got three attack and then he's also got the heal so really cool cards if you can get to level two and if you decide to play that way uh, so if you want a budget version of a Kralis, you pick up a Uriel the Purifier, it's worth it. If you like playing General Sloan and playing the Archer build, eventually work your way to a Lensmaster. He is incredible because for one mana, you're going to do two Archer damage with one HP, three speed. So it's pretty incredible. Obviously, Sacred Unicorn with heal is a good card, but because of this border we know that this is a wild card and not going to be a new untamed one so we'll keep this out because it's not a modern card high priest darius he's good because he's got the resurrect and it pairs resurrect is always good when you pair it with your taunt cards which is you'll have one of the famous life taunts which is shield bearer but uh, personally, I don't use him enough as I should, because he's 10 mana. I find it too expensive to field him. He does eventually get Blast, but that's only in Gold League, so not really the best card. I would say you don't need to focus on him. Uh, basically, the cards you focus on is you always get the Fiend. I think Fiends are super, super good. You need to pick up a Fiend as always. This one's not nearly as good as the Life, uh, the Earth one. Uh, a Uriel level 1, I don't think you have to worry about it, because he doesn't have the heal. You're better off just playing your shield bearer or a different tank in position 1. You don't need him to be your position 1 tank. When he has heal, you can argue and put him in. A bright wing is a different question, because this card kind of pairs well with what we want to play, which is magic and this one's got repair so if you've got a tank in the front which we do uh, and there's also some armor they'll repair the armor while dealing the magic damage that we want 
So we could argue to put her in, but I mean, we got so much money to spend still, but I don't want to just spend money for the sake of spending money. So for that reason, I'm going to go back to the epic cards and I would say we put in a evangelist and then we'll pick in a, um, what card is this called? A prismologist. And then let's just quickly look. We have the crystal smith, the shield era, the renova, the paragon, the mistress, the fiend. Okay, cool. So yeah, this is how I would build it. It's pretty cheap. It's $21. We have the crystal smith and the sh sheriff to be archers alongside the evangelist and the prismologist. So you've got your archers covered. Then you've got your soul fiend, which you'll always basically play, especially if you're in bronze. And then if you don't want to play archers or archers are banned, but you're still playing your life, you would then play your Jin Renova, your Dax Paragon and your mistress in positions two. To four and then you'll have a tank in the front and then your soul fiend at the back to take an extra snipe hit and then you basically have lots of hp don't obviously use general sloan use mother kala and then you'll just blast your way with magic damage to victory so please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want me to do next and if you're a new player please use the promo code and i'll happily send you the 0.5 us dollars back to you it just lets me know that people are watching and using the promo and I'm helping new players join the community. Also, if you find me on the Discord, just pop me a message. I'll happily delegate any of the new players some power 